to make sure that we're live and let's check that we're live here. Uh, we should be live, but let me just broadcasting. Okay, perfect. Just want to check on the actual page. You know what I'm going to do is I notice is with the feedback and stuff, everybody has uh, headphones or a mic on. Um, the best way usually is for me, um, I'll be just playing with this and muting like you guys out as I talk initially. And then I'll, um, because this way they won't have that, that feedback and then I'll just unmute you guys. So let me just make sure that we're live. I see that we're live, but let me make sure that we're live. Okay, we are live, wonderful, okay, great. And so let me just pull up, we're gonna share our screen as well. So let me pull this up here and let me get this to be, let's see, slideshow and from beginning, okay. Now, can you guys see my screen? Oh, you, you can't hear me, okay. That's not gonna help, okay. <laughs> let me just go back over here and make sure. I unmuted you guys, so let me unmute you here and just make sure that I've got the screen sharing here to start sharing. Okay, perfect, okay. So we should be able to see the screen in a second. Um, you guys all see the screen? Yes. Perfect, okay. So let's just run current slide and we'll just do, Okay, there we go. Perfect. We just move us over here. Okay, so I want to say hello to everybody and welcome to the Women Helping Women Virtual Networking Entrepreneur Circle of Influence. We're here today. Um, so far, we have uh, Christine Myers, who's a virtual assistant, and we have Michelle Benio, who's here, is also from Send Out Cards, and we're waiting for a couple more people. Um, we're happy to see that you guys are watching today and please leave your comments. Um, we can see the comments, we can talk to you, we can answer them. So if you have any questions for the ladies here, um, you, you just put it in the comments and we'll be sure to ask them. So let me move over to the next slide here. If we can move this over here. Michelle, are you still there? Because I don't see you up on the screen. I don't know if we yeah, lost you. Yeah. Oh, good, okay, great, great. Okay. Um, and trying to get my computer to okay great so we'll do our do our intro so just quickly um my name is christina rowe i'm a social media and online marketing specialist who helps entrepreneurs get more clients and make more sales using the latest social media branding online marketing and pr strategies and techniques and let's talk about the ladies who are here because that's what's most important and we want you guys to introduce yourself and I'm gonna switch over from screen sharing. This way we can see you guys um, live on the screen and we wanna know who you are and how your products and services help other people. So I'm gonna start with Christine and let me just stop the sharing here so we can get you back up on the screen here. There we are, okay, perfect. So Christine, tell us all about you and what you do and how you help others. Okay, well, I am Christine Myers from Virtual Assistant Services. And my company supports speakers and business coaches who struggle to find their target market online and in person uh, by providing the research, identification, and the coordination of speaking opportunities. Um, also, we help with the preparation and the follow-up or registrations for events and um, work with meeting planners and um, assist even at the actual events. We also support entrepreneurs who, um, with all those nagging details uh, that it takes to uh, run your business you know, with the administrative tax. So that's how we serve others at Virtual Assistant Services. Wonderful. So you take a lot of, I see we have some feedback here. Let me just put mm. I see if that's better. Um, do you have, um, so you basically were saying you're helping the entrepreneur, the female entrepreneur or the male entrepreneur um, get the, all the, the tasks that they need to get done that um, free up their time so that they can be able to work on what's really important in their business. So a lot of these stuff that we call the, the busy tasks that we shouldn't be doing as entrepreneurs. And it's interesting because I, I wanna talk about this for a second. I think it's really important for all, Everyone who's watching right now, you ladies, and I know you're probably, a lot of you are guilty of this because I'm guilty of this, is that we try to do everything ourselves. Mm -hmm. And we think we can do it all and we don't outsource and we don't delegate. And it's one of the, it's, it's something even I have to work on because it's just like, oh, all right, I know how to do that, let me do it myself. Where we should be using people like Christine 
to do these tasks and free up our time so we can concentrate on the more important things. It's like they used to talk about how, like, you know, you say, well, how much are you worth an hour? So should you be cleaning your own house? Because hourly, you could hire somebody cheaper and you're actually saving yourself money by not cleaning your house. Does that, right, is that right. probably like a concept that you'd agree with? So you will handle like all the social media, all the, like, so just um, go over a little specific things at events, um, just some of the things okay. you take off the plate of the, of the female entrepreneur. Well, mostly what I do is I assist um, entrepreneurs and speakers and coaches with um, email uh, campaigns. Uh, you know, getting them sent out in a timely manner. And um, I um, also uh, can create free offers and put everything that it takes into a free offer to make it like, wow. And um, those are the two main things that I work with, you know, individually with, um, with my clients. And then with the speaker opportunities um that's usually like on a project basis uh we find um you know we go through with the um client um the target market and you know what kind of organizations they want to speak at and we go and go out there and do the research and we call or email um, the different organizations and it saves the the speaker or the coach a lot of time um, by getting that all lined up and also it's more professional when you have somebody else um, coming before you you know to look for you know to get in touch with the the right person um, that's you know, really to, really important and, and going back to what you were saying about the email marketing um, mm -hmm. with that so you'll write so basically you can write out do you do the copy writing the broadcast scheduling them um, using setting up the autoresponder systems so you you can handle all those tasks that are like uh, yes tedious. I can um, we we can do the copywriting um, however I do prefer them uh, my clients to give me what they want to say you know okay. like if they're writing it themselves um, give me what they want to say I could tweak it uh, make it look good um, you know check for typos things like that uh, because it's coming from their heart. Exactly. Um, then, yeah, and then like we post um, articles, you know, in a, even in a newsletter, you know, we'll have an article or, um, and then blogging. And that kind of all, you wonderful, know, wonderful. works together. Uh, we do the posting and things like, things like that that have to do with the blogging and emails and uh, newsletters. And this so, is a, yeah, it all, a lot of stuff that needs to be Oops, I think we have Michelle in twice. Let me just put it in. Yeah, it's a lot of the stuff that we need to have done that um, we need to, you know, we really need to look to start um, allowing other people to help us because, you know, if not, you just become completely overwhelmed and, you know, your to-do list is five miles long <laughs> and you feel burdened. So somebody like Christine can help you. So Christine, tell us where um, someone who's watching right now or watching the replay later, where they can get a hold of you to find out more about your services. Okay, you could go right to my uh, website. It's virtualassistantservices.net, and that'll give you a lot of information about the different services we have. Uh, there's not too much on it about the speakers and coaches. I'm working now on a, a new uh, update on, on my website. So that's gonna have more about the services that we offer for coaches and speakers. Uh, but if you go to virtualassistantservices.net, uh, there'll be a place where you could even schedule a, just a 15-minute uh, free consult, and then we could talk about um, your needs. Wonderful. Your needs. Okay, perfect. Okay, and then I'm going to have you guys to post um, here on the page, both of you and whoever joins us to um, your contact information in the comments. Now, this we're, re we're broadcasting from the Woman Helping Woman uh, mastermind page, but where I, I also just shared it. You see me over, I've got my phone here. I just shared, we're also live um, on my profile on South Florida Business Owners Networking Group. There's like 14,000 people in there and the Women Helping Women, which is over 3,000. So we were, we're in a number of places at once. So you'll see why you're looking at social media because I share it everywhere. You can leave your comment, wherever you see it, you'll just <laughs> leave I your just name. Just put it in everywhere. Put it in. <laughs> yeah, just put it in because it'll be in more than one spot. So wonderful, thank you, Christine. Now I'm gonna unmute Michelle and I'll meet you here. And 
Hello, Michelle. Hi, Sarah. how are you? Great, great. Well, tell us now, Michelle, you're from Send Out Cards and just tell us, let everybody know exactly what Send Out Cards does and how it can help your business. Yeah, actually, um, so I've also branded my business recently since we last spoke as um, with heartfelt appreciation because that's really what Send Out Cards stands out for me is um, heartfelt appreciation and in leaving people with that ability to have that um, Although I have a blank screen. Can you guys see me? Because I can't see anything. Oh, right you now. can't see anything? Okay. We, I see you. Okay. All right. That's fine. I see you too. And I would just make sure we're seeing you on, I'm going to check the live feed here and you should be. Okay. So you're not seeing anything, but what we no, see. No, but that's okay. Fine. You're live. We see you. That's fine. Um, so anyway, so Send Out Cards is a fully automated follow-up tool and what it does is it allows you to stay top of mind with your customers in a personalized um, completely customized way through the use of greeting cards and gifts so it's an app on your phone it's just so quick to say there's an app for that well there's an app now for staying in touch and follow-up and it allows you to reach out in kindness to people and stay top of mind and send those thank you cards send the thank you for the referral remember people's birthdays remember home anniversaries if you're in real estate so from any different industry, there's so many different ways that you can actually reach out and send somebody a heartfelt card in that respect of, hey, it was great to meet you. It was nice to have coffee with you. Thanks for taking time to um, have a cup of coffee with me. I mean, even just in general, just doing what you can to stay top of mind and staying, you know, ahead of your competition. They're, it's just so insanely competitive out there in any industry. So what are you doing? Why should somebody pick you? Why should somebody come back to you in, in that relationship and helping you build that relationship with your clients and prospects? So it's really designed and meant to be a relationship marketing tool, not necessarily your traditional marketing. Um, the relationship marketing, building those relationships, seeing that a client of yours um, had a baby and sending them a a new card for the baby, seeing that they closed on a new home or they got a new job. I mean, there's 20,000 different cards that are preloaded in the app. And so you really can just reach out and, and let people know that you're thinking of them and you can completely customize and brand the back of them. So it's also a great marketing tool in that sense is that if they send, you send a card with a picture of their baby on the front and it's got all your information on the back, 90% of the time they're going to save that card. So it's I a great way and an easy way for you to stay top of mind. And we get this app, so we would contact you to, you'd give us the link to download this, this particular app if we wanted to use the service through the app? Yes, yep, there's okay. a download, and um, so you can use the link, and then I can also, and I also help manage um, for those people that, you know, are busy, like you said, in the sense of not necessarily a virtual assistant, but in the respect of, you know, you're an expert in your field, let me be an expert in my field, so I'm also offering management services now, for people that want to use the tool and want to use the service of send out cards, but just don't have the time because there's so many people that are just so busy and it's easy and convenient as it is to get on that app and send a card. There's still, it's just one of those things that always ends up falling to the bottom of the list. So I'm, I'm helping a lot of my clients manage their accounts now and they're seeing much better results with it in the sense of they're going out on time. They're, going out on an automated basis. They're getting two, three cards out. So that's really been um, a, a helpful addition to, to my service. That's great because I know um, since we spoke last time, you surprised me with um, a fabulous gift, which thank you again. I wrote you to thank you, but it, um, wonderful, delicious brownies from Send Out Cards. And I was I was so impressed. It's very impressive how it comes, you know, packaged and um, beautiful cards, and it's branded. Years ago, I'm going to unmute Christine for a second. She'll probably understand. We, we've been oh my gosh. people who've done done send out cards, <laughs> and years ago, Christine, do you remember how it wasn't particularly branded? It said send out cards. Well, now I don't know if you're familiar because when Michelle sent me her card with the brownies, it her logo was on the back of the card. It was completely like it was coming from her and not send out cards, which is really great. So it's like your white labeling almost, you know, branding mm -hmm. your own, which I really was impressed with. I thought that was fantastic. I think it's a, it's a great, I love the idea of an app. I don't know if last time you mentioned the app. 
Um, I don't know um, if there was that yeah. last time. <laughs> there is, you know, I probably forgot. I maybe didn't mention it, but yeah, the app, they're constantly, you know, the app is just the way of the world right now. Everybody wants an app for everything. And so the most of their technology is all going into the app. They're working on it. You can actually send all of your campaigns and everything. So you really, the, the computer version is still fantastic, but the app is just where it's at. I mean, because it's easy for me to be scrolling through Facebook and see one of my clients that, you know, posted a fun picture, save that picture, throw it on the front of a card and just say, this is, you know, hope all is well. This is a great picture. It was worth being printed. So mm -hmm. is it still now, just to clarify with send out cards, is it, it's obviously for business owners to use, but there's also an opera business opportunity with it as well, right? If somebody wants there to, is. Call, mm -hmm. right? So like yes. if something for hypothetically, if Christine wanted to use this for her clients, she could contact mm -hmm. you and then set it up. Like you said, what you're doing for your clients and run all the campaigns under you. Absolutely. So yeah, I just saw a synchronicity there. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm really liking this idea of how send out cards has evolved from years ago. The new version yeah. of it um, is really, really great. Um, especially like you said, with the, all the different, you know, branding that you can do particular to the business. Um, and I definitely plan on using it uh, when I slow down and get some time to go onto the app and you have to send me the link and all the stuff for it. Yeah, um, yeah. I definitely think it's going to definitely around the holidays, even more from the holidays. Like you said, if you start keeping track of people's birthdays and this and that, you know, and, and I think what's really interesting today is that both of you offer something um, for business owners and female entrepreneurs who are going to be watching this. I mean, these are things that we, like I said, people like me, we take on too much, we do too much, and we don't think of that. We could hire Christine, we could hire Michelle to take care of these gifts. We can we can do these things without having to get our email marketing done, without having to try to ha do everything ourselves, which, um, mm -hmm. you know, is what, what we're all trying to do. And we'll move much faster um, by doing that, by outsourcing, um, which, I, which, you know, I'm uh, preaching to the choir because... <laughs> I keep saying it because what I need to do, and I've been saying this for a long time, and it's just like, you know, a lot of times like, okay, let me, let me, I'm going to outsource this. And then I'm like, ah, you know, by the time I tell somebody what, how to do it, I could just do it, which is, and then it'll get a glitch and I'll sit there for two hours doing it. I'm like, ah, what did I do? Why did I do this again? You know, like, you know, it's, I think it's a personality trait. And I think what's funny is it's the, like the type A and it's most of us female entrepreneurs are like that. Mm -hmm. But we have to learn to let to let go and take uh, take the step um, in order to to do that. So both of you, when you post, post your websites too, both on all the comments, because this way everybody can look over and look at how with your website, how this all works and Christine's website and, you know, make that leap. Um, do you mm -hmm. guys have any, both of you, you're both unmuted cells. So let's ask Michelle first and Christine, do you have any... Um, sort of um, special offer, anything you want to offer anybody who is a woman helping woman entrepreneur member, um, a free consultation or something to get, you know, to, to get them to contact you? Yeah, absolutely. Um, with the app, it's, it's a great way. If you're just looking and you want to just demo it, I can actually send you a link to the app and we can set up a quick, maybe 10, 15 minute walkthrough. And it's actually allows you to send two free cards and possibly, you know, if you wanted to, you could send brownies out as well. So it's a great way to just kind of quote unquote test drive the app, see if it's something you like, see if it's something you can do. So I can absolutely do that for anybody that's interested. Just um, leave a comment and we can connect on Facebook or connect via email. I can give you that information and we can set up a time and I can actually demo it for you and it wouldn't cost you anything, no obligation or anything. It's just a free test drive of the app to see how it works and the different features that are available. Love that. Well, send that to me, Michelle. You have my email. I'd okay. love to do that. I would love to demo. That's a great idea because then it's something that, you know, a lot of times we say, oh, that's a great idea. And then time passes and you get so busy with a million other things. You don't, when having that demo would give you that 15 minutes with you for you to walk us through and understand yeah. exactly. Yeah. Instead of saying, oh, I'm going to do that in the future and then never do it. So Christine, what about you? Is there um, anything you can offer to any of our entrepreneurs here to help get them on track? Well, First of all, I do want to um, give a testimonial for Send Out Cards. Um, oh, thank you. I was, working, <laughs> I was working with a client, and we decided to um, send them brownies and chocolate chip cookies. And every time a, a new um, member would join, and that was such a hit, they just loved it. They were posting it on Facebook and everything, and it really makes a difference. It just... Um, 
it, it's just a, a relation, a relational uh, thing that is very good to do because people appreciate that and they remember you for it. So, yeah. yeah. So that's my plug. Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> um, that. <laughs> um, it, well, for, for me, if you go to my website, virtualassistantservices.net, um, you will see the first thing on the right, you could uh, go right there and schedule an appointment with me uh, for 15 minute, uh, 30 minute consult. Uh, we just we could talk about um, if we're a good fit and like you, your needs um, and the benefits of working with me. And um, also there is an offer there for a free report about working with a virtual assistant, like what to expect. Perfect. Okay. So, these are great goodies, ladies. So definitely you want to take advantage of both of these. And, and you know, Christine, you brought up a good point about the social media aspect that we didn't have, you know, to over 10 years ago that people when they get something they're going to take a picture and snap it and say look i just joined this new club and look can you believe that they actually gave me a free brownies i mean wow who does that you know and everybody's like wait what is this business you're working with so, great idea um for really really great idea yeah definitely definitely great idea to and show appreciation with whatever you do whether you're you know with it's, it's for anybody to think of you know that it's you make a difference when you go that extra mile for a client for a customer no matter what way you do it whether you're doing something a little extra for them or you're recommending them or you're writing them a testimonial um, business-wise it's the smartest way to go that extra mile and keep that in mind to make your customers feel appreciated because um, when they don't feel appreciated they not only do they don't come back then they don't speak well of you that's I can never understand like going to if you go to a restaurant or something and you have bad service and like they'll have an attitude with you if you say something like it's like oh my gosh how dumb I mean you should be bending over backwards for your client, even if the, I mean, I used to say with my hair salon and I've gotten people said to me, well, you know, it's a lot of people who own businesses will be like, well, you know, to say to my hairdressers, you know, the client's always right, even when they're wrong. And they used to get so mad at me. Like, <laughs> and they weren't really right. Not that they were really right, but you had to make like you were right because they have mouths. And this was before social media. I sold my salon in 2006. So you're thinking about uh, before social media, I can't imagine now, you know, this was before Facebook was just about to be birthed, you know, at that point. And so I used to always say, somebody was angry, upset for whatever reason, I'm like, oh, here's a bottle of shampoo. Oh, here's this, <laughs> you know, to make it. And they would be happy and they'd come back and stay forever. They're still customers to this day at the salon who's coming for, you know, 20 years. They've been from way back. Um, in New Jersey. So that's what you have to do. You know, you have to, you know, when you're a business owner, you have to really put the customer first and, and treat them, you know, and whichever way you want to do it, whether it's to send out cards or any way that you want to do it. And I think that's a really great lesson for today. So I'm going to switch over so we can share some tips and tricks. And I'm going to switch to sharing the screen again. And then we're going to brainstorm a little bit about um, some things that we're, what we're working on now and what our challenges are. So let me go over to sharing the screen. And we'll go back over here when we just did this. Let me just forward this slide here. So this is my favorite part, the mindset mastery tip of the month. And these are a couple of tips here. Um, and I know this kind of fits in the theme of what we're talking about today. You know, we're feeling overwhelmed, stressed, worried. I mean, who isn't, right? When you're an entrepreneur, who's not feeling these things? When you're juggling Especially our, our mompreneurs out there, you know, who have little kids, my daughter being one of them, three kids works, um, her job is full time, but at home, but her, on her computer. Um, and she's, you know, she's got a baby and two little boys and she, I don't know how she does it. You know, it's, it's, it's everybody out there. I know you guys are working really, really hard. So sometimes you're going to get in a bad mood. So here are some fun mood boosting hacks that <laughs> you can use to brighten your day, because you know, it's very true. If we're feeling good, we attract more good. So number one, go to YouTube. If you're having a lousy day, you're stressed out, go to YouTube and search for a funny pet or baby video or just your favorite comedian. And you can't stop watching until you laugh out loud. So that's a challenge. <laughs> this next one, I wanna start doing this with this hashtag in, in the groups and I gotta remember to, I think we're gonna start posting it every night is take the hashtag three things challenge. So post on your Facebook wall three things that have made you feel good today so far. Uh, I like this better than 
three things I'm grateful for or thankful for, because a lot of times when we do that, we start to feel, I don't know if you guys do this, but you start to feel guilty if you didn't say your kids and you didn't say your pets and you didn't say your mother, you know, then you kind of like, well, I'm thankful for if you leave people out, you know, so instead of it, what's made you feel good today? Well, maybe it's because you ate an ice cream cone, or maybe it's because the sun was shining, or maybe because you got a good night's sleep, you know, and it's just little uh, things you remember throughout the day that made you feel good, and that will help make you feel even better. Um, number three, grab your earbuds and phone and go for a five-minute walk and play your favorite upbeat song for five minutes. That'll definitely switch your mood and put you in a happier place. Um, this one I like too, and this is create a Pinterest board called the happy board. <laughs> it can be private, doesn't have to be public and pin everything and anything that has made you happy in the past or that you dream about in the future. And what I like about this more than a dream board, which we've all been taught with the law of attraction, the dream board, because a lot of times when we make a dream board, I don't know if you guys do this, but you'll say, okay, you'll put like a mansion or a um, cruise or some phenomenal thing. And then as soon as you put it up, you're like, wow. And then you're like, oh, how am I gonna get that? And the negativity comes in at the same time, which kind of defeats the whole purpose because you're like, you kind of like, you know, you, you, you want it, but then you're like, well, you're thinking, God, how the heck am I going to get that? So this board's different. The happy board is just simple things that make you happy, have made you happy, um, things you love, even from when you were a child, your favorite candy, um, you know, just memories, things that, that are, you know, post pictures of family, pets, things that you just love, that are, anything that makes you smile, your favorite outfit. You know? And it doesn't have to be things that, you know, are are so big that you feel like you can't get them. You know, it could be things that you know that you're gonna have in your future and that's gonna put you in a good mood and you can go and add to this and work on this board um, every day for a couple of minutes and it's gonna definitely uh, get those law of attraction, good thoughts um, flowing. And finally, um, this is an interesting one. I don't know if you could see the whole, okay, here. Set your foam alarm to go off once every hour for you could do this for you know two or three hours during the day. Or you do it once, you can just try it once a week and take two minutes to stop what you're doing and think of the most exciting thought you could think. So you actually would, you know, have your alarm would beep, you would stop, you would set 60, um, do the uh, two minutes on your thing and actually just sit there, relax and just think of what is so exciting. Maybe there's a trip coming up or maybe it's a project you're working on or something really exciting to bring those exciting feelings um, it, you know, uh, up within you and put you in a good mood. So don't you ladies think if you did all these things, you'd be very happy bouncing around, just <laughs> <laughs> jumping around saying, yeah. <laughs> so these are just some couple little things here that I wanted to share with everybody that I think can be really effective in keeping our moods elevated and keeping us upbeat because that's how we attract good things. You know, it's all about reaching for the better thought and feeling good because so when you feel bad, only, you know, more bad comes. So we want to always try to feel as best as we can. So now we're going to just share some social media um, tips and uh, marketing tips that we have over here. And I'm going back to LinkedIn. I haven't really spoke about LinkedIn in, in a while because LinkedIn honestly has very aggravated me um, with all their changes. Uh, I don't know if you guys noticed that LinkedIn has, you know, they they're always changing something. They're always taking away something. I just noticed recently that if you see here in my profile, there is no more space for um, where you used to get the email addresses of your contacts. They just took that out, the phone number. Like, it, where is it? Very annoying. Um, but LinkedIn is still a great place. I mean, we have this, if you're doing business to business, LinkedIn is you know, definitely one of the places you need to be on because you can still target people, find people and build a huge network. Um, so. One of the things too you want to make sure and you can use LinkedIn for is credibility um, on a Google search. So somebody's searching for you, say you have a new client and they want to see if you're credible. You want you know your LinkedIn profile to come up on, to, on top. Now, if you have a common name, like my name is Christina Rowe is pretty common. Christine, your name is pretty common. Michelle, maybe not so much. Um, that there might be like 25, 50 other people, Christine Myers out there, you know, and they're all their LinkedIn profiles are coming in. So here's a little, little trick that you can do. Notice where the arrow is in my profile here. It says my name. I just recently added that. Now you should just say marketing expert, author, speaker, and I just put my name. And the reason I put my name there is obviously the more times your name appears, the um, higher Google is going to rank you for your name over the other Christina Rose or other people out there. So stick your name in your description right underneath 
your um, where you edit here and your information right here. Just um, to put your name in there and that'll give you a little bit of a boost. And I'll show you here on the next slide. When we Google, I, like first thing for Christina Rowe, because I have the .com, that's always gonna come out first. So luckily I get the number one listing for that. But when you look down, this is interesting. If you look at Facebook, look at all the Christina Rose on Facebook. Now here's me, three of the pictures, but if this one's not even me with the dash, it's saying Christina Rowe profiles, Facebook. This comes first and then here's me. So what happened with LinkedIn is the opposite. The top 25 Christina Rowe profiles are down here, but look how I came up on top of it. See how it says, because this is me right here. So my listing of mine, ideally this would come up on top of the other Christina Rose if I did this with Facebook. But with LinkedIn, it did work and it did come up on top here. So it ranks, so people get to the right person and, and see my profile when they click on here, instead of searching for 25 other Christina Rose on LinkedIn and trying to find which one you know is me. So it looks better to have that, to be able to make sure you, you, you get on, especially if you don't have a lot of like your name domain, you know, if you don't have, a, if you're not coming up for uh, Google searches for your name, you wanna make sure your social media profiles are very strong. And this is a way, very simple, two minute, two second thing to do, just adding your name to your profile um, in the description. So another thing with LinkedIn I wanted to share has anybody here, guys, have you used LinkedIn um, advertising at all? Christine or Michelle? No. No, no, no. And, you know, not many people have. It's been very, traditionally in the past, it's been kind of pricey um, per click as compared to Facebook. Facebook is like, you know, much more affordable advertising. But it's a, LinkedIn, you can actually target people and get the exact people, especially business to business, that if you're looking for a certain type of business owner, you know, or um, professional, you can really target them. So it's something that's been been overlooked, and I think they've done some revamping lately. So I wanted to go over and just show you basically here. These are some of the things that you can target people, which is really cool. You could actually target people by the company they work at, the company name, size, industry. So if you just want to go for a specific industry, you could do by their job title. So say you wanted, um, I'll just use because I do stuff in the addiction field. If I wanted marketing directors who are in the addiction behavior or health industry, I could even go by their company. I could actually send ads to these people they, to, to see that, which is really cool. You could do by education if you want college or higher, and you could do by skills, age, gender. So if I wanted to do women who are age 45 and over, who are marketing directors, who are in the addiction field, I could actually send ads to those people only, that they're, they're gonna see that. So that's very highly targeted marketing, which is pretty cool. So how much do LinkedIn ads cost? So they're doing, same like with Facebook, it's basically um, like on an auction. So um, you're gonna run ads with competing with other advertisers. So you're going to, um, it's gonna really depend on a couple of things. You know, the tar how targeted your market is, how many other people are targeting that same market, your bids and the score to make sure that your ad is engaging. Um, so this will determine what they're gonna charge you per, you know, per click and per ad. Um, you can choose how you want to be charged too. Do you want to be charged every time someone clicks, every time a thousand impressions, or this is interesting. Now, this is why I, I brought this up today. So sponsored in-mail messages. So you can actually do a cost per cent. So you could actually send sponsored in-mail messages and pay for them to the exact people that you want on LinkedIn, which is pretty cool. Um, that's, that's really, really interesting. Similar to Facebook Messenger, you know, but you could actually get right in there and pay, pay for it there, which is neat. Um, and this is pretty cool. You know, you could add a call to action and you could actually use, I'm always a big proponent. I always say this, everybody needs to have collect leads, you know, get email addresses, have that opt-in on your website. Well, LinkedIn is, um, has sponsored content where you can actually, um, you know, give that ebook or webinar sign up and do a lead generation form right on LinkedIn and instantly collect um, leads right from LinkedIn, which is, which is pretty cool. So this is um, definitely an excellent tool. You have to just weigh what you're selling, price per customer. Um, I'll use Christine, for example, for this, because Christine, if you would say your average, I don't know what you'd say your average client was worth over a year, let's say. I'm just gonna say $5,000. I'm just finding that true. Just, just, yeah. just using a, a term. Let's mm -hmm. say your client, for you to acquire a new client, 
it's going to bring you revenue around $5,000 a year. So how much are you willing to spend to get that new client? What would be worth for you? So say you have a budget of, you know, um, you want to see to actually get the new client, you would need how many leads, how many new generation leads are people signing up? So say you would need, I'm just going to say a hundred leads to get one client. So you break it down and say, okay, well, how much, you know, do I, am I willing to spend per lead to get that client? So mm-hmm. if it's going to be, you know, a hundred leads cost a hundred dollars, if it's a dollar a lead, um, and now it costs you a hundred dollars to get one client, but you're going to make $5,000 for the year from that client. It's definitely worth you doing. So mm-hmm. that's how you have, to, you should look at it. Even when you do Facebook advertising, um, you know, obviously if you're going to do something that's, you know, um, you're going to need a big budget for it. Like if say you're doing, giving something that's very inexpensive or an or a cheap away, or, and you're not, you know, you don't have a big enough budget and LinkedIn is charging a lot more. Like on Facebook, you could get video views for a penny, two cents, three cents for video views. You can get cost per click, you know, for, for 20 cents, 30 cents, but LinkedIn, um, I know has traditionally been higher, but then again, it's highly specified for business to business. So if you really want to reach business people, this would be a really, really great tool. Anybody watching out there, um, to be using this. So let me go over here and just here's some more sponsored content options. What you can do, you call company updates, reach your right audience, um, get your message out, choose your own budget and build relationships. Um, so, You'll, they'll track the conversion for you as well. Something definitely to look into to add to your marketing toolbox. Um, finally, the last tip here, uh, this was just a really cool app I just saw. Have any, has anybody seen this right behind? Mm-hmm. This new app is you can actually make images with this app and you see how with the girl, it's like a magazine. The text yeah. goes behind the image, which is pretty cool. So you can use some, be creative and, uh, you know, like jazz up your social media posts and in seconds, just upload a photo and put the text behind or in front and you can, you know, make it your, your uh, social media stuff look a little uh, different. Poster maker, cover maker, memes. Um, so it's pretty, it's pretty cool. I think this is cool and I believe it's free. So this one was for iPhone. I think it's also available for the Android Google Play. So you, you can check that out as well. So now moving along, let's get to our mastermind round table discussion. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to now stop sharing the screen and get you guys back up. Let me see here. Stop sharing. Okay, perfect. Okay. So well, we have Christine popped up first. So let's start with Christine. What would be right now um, your greatest challenge in your business and what you're working on right now? Um, well, what I'm working on right now is my website. <laughs> so that, that is a challenge because uh, I have been procrastinating um, and it needs to be done uh, because I've been working with the coaches and speakers for a while, uh, but I haven't really got myself out there. You know, like my website doesn't reflect that. So I'm definitely working. Yeah, your website is very old at this point, right? Yes. This is uh, yeah, I mean, you're talking probably what six years or, or oh, yeah, it needs to be updated. They technology mm-hmm. changes so fast. I know Christine's website was like thesis or something, yes, That's like, yes, it was. Oh, yesterday, you know, it's <laughs> <laughs> um, right now because the way technology is moving, I mean, I was recommending you know, Optimized Press was the big, big thing for I was using for a couple of years now. Um, Click Funnels. It's mm. just the easiest, best way, Kristen, I could talk to you about that, how to get started on ClickFunnels. I mean, it's, you could just do it yourself. It's, it's really, really great. Um, you can, how you could set up your website with ClickFunnels and automate and make funnels and, and do all sorts of things. You could have memberships, you know, you could have all sorts of, of cool stuff to, to do your business and do it yourself without having to, um, hire, you know, the, the, I mean, years ago, we we're all, you know, I know both my daughters are, are web designers and my company does that. And I've actually changed now where, what I'm doing. Um, I'm really having all my clients go oh, primarily to um, click funnels or on my business blueprint um, strategy sessions, how I'll work is like this screen sharing, and I'll actually have hands on, you build your website together with me. And I have a client doing that now, and she's doing a studio press blog 
um, uh, with that. And we're actually building the blog together this way. She's, you know, she can go off and be able to do anything she wants at the end of it and have a finished website instead of hiring, you know, me or my web designers to do it for her. And now she doesn't know what she's doing with it and always has to be at the mercy of the web designer, you know, so it's hands on right. learning. Uh, but with click funnels, it's just so easy. They have so many templates. It's so easy, much easier than the studio press. I mean, just like simple to make anybody can, can really make a, once you get the hang of it, can do a click funnels website. So I would definitely suggest you looking into that, but let me know. Cause I have, um, I can help you with that. Okay, um, I do. I am an affiliate for ClickFunnels because I use it and I do provide for my, people who sign up under me, I do provide um, support. So if you need help, like you're stuck, how do I do this? I make a screen share video for you. Mm -hmm. And oh, I send it over to you. Okay. No, yeah. answer. You know what? I don't know how to add my domain and I'll, and I'll go because they do give you that, but they're men on ClickFunnels. Mm -hmm. They give you the videos, but mm -hmm. they're like, everybody gets confused with theirs. You know, I do mine. Um, you know, how I teach. So then I'll be able to specifically go in, you know, go into my account say, here, this is exactly how you'd be able to do this. Right. Uh, but I, I highly recommend it. $97 a month and mm -hmm. you can work, it works with MailChimp, works with all the autoresponders. Um, great tool. Another thing for you, Christina, this is a little, little sneaky thing you can do. It's not sneaky, but you, you could actually do this. Um, you could put clients technically. I don't know if it's really allowed, but everybody they do you do it like if you, you want to put a client say a client wants um a two-page funnel like with an opt-in and okay, uh, okay. the gift and the landing page instead of okay. them having their own click funnels account what you mm -hmm. can do is you could include it in your price and host them on your click funnels account and oh. charge them and then just say um here and give them like just do a redirect for the domain so and then you can hook up their mailchimp to to that so the leads will drop into there i can show you how to do that and that's that's re really um a easy way instead of having to make people and say oh, okay now we have to get you to um you know to go set yourself up on click funnels i'm going to teach you you can you can right, put that in right. your service so, right. so they, right they wouldn't have their own um click funnel right um, count it would go through right. you you're just putting but a funnel you, because you're managing yeah. it anyway. It's your client. You're managing it. So, yeah. yeah. So. so we'll talk. You let me know. And I'll, I'll, I can talk more to you about privately about that. Because we'll get all technical. Right. We'll be like, what the hell are they talking about? <laughs> so, right. Okay. So that's good. Now, what about you, Michelle? What is your greatest challenge right now? Um, my greatest challenge is um, just meeting new people, finding, you know, filling my funnel, getting leads. Um, I'm working, I'm trying to do a lot more on social media, but just beginning that social media, um, I do a lot of face-to-face -face networking, but again, it's still, you, you kind of tap out your area after a while. There's only, not to say that I've met everybody in this area. It's just how much time and money can you spend traveling all over going to these face-to-face -face networking events and how many leads are you really going to get versus, so I really am trying to increase my reach on social media and just find more of my target market of people. And so that's where I'm struggling the most is just finding new leads. How, I'm going to ask you a question. Is there a way visually to demonstrate whether through screen sharing or product wise, mm -hmm. is there a way for you to visually demonstrate what you're doing? Yeah. And I did do a Facebook live video actually demonstrating the brand, um, the branding and the brownies. And I actually did, I got a lot of feedback on that. So I just need to start doing that a little bit more. Uh, I can demo the app as well, you know, screen share on a Facebook live. So that's what I'm, I'm working on. Okay, so these sense. things when you do now, when you did it and you had a good response, did you then go back and um, did you do it from your regular page or did you do it from a business page? Because if you do it from a business page, you can promote the Facebook Live afterwards with ads. I did it from my business page. Okay. Did you do an ad for it afterwards? I didn't. No, that's where so I'm. You can actually I go have... back and even do that. And then when you choose your targeting, you mm -hmm. could actually specifically go back into the Facebook targeting and and choose women, ages, you know. 35 to 54 um, entrepreneurs who like these pages, who like anybody who's in your target market to actually see that Facebook live replay. And that would be a really good way to get more video views. And what you want to do, another thing you can do, I don't know how many video views you got on that, but this gets a little technical too, but Facebook, I mean, we're talking about ads. It's, it's just amazing. 
So you have your Facebook ad, you did a, a video, say you had, you know, 500 people watch the video and these are all people interested in what you were doing. You could go right, back right. into your ads manager in Facebook and do a custom um, audience where you choose um, people who have engaged with your videos and Facebook will then do a lookalike audience of not only will take the people who actually watch the video, the 500 people, it will duplicate it into similar like people up to like a million people. That's called a lookalike audience. So then you can run an ad to the lookalike audience. So you know, those are people that are similar to the people that watch the video. So right. there's a lot of really cool stuff you can do with, with, with um, the Facebook ads right now that are, they keep coming out with more and more interesting stuff that you can do. But I think for reach, that's what I would, I would suggest that you, um, if you can as many times a week, like, you know, maybe two, three times a week is to have a strategy of a demonstration, whether it's live or screen share to show, make people understand what this does and what the value is and how it's, you know, impacting others. Um, a great thing to do would be to get, um, do like something like this, where you get a client who can talk about their experience with it and how great it was, like have a live like testimonial going. That would be great. Or have them do a video or have them or do a case study. And that would be great too. If they can give you access, any of your clients would allow you to go into their accounts or demonstrate, say, you know, uh, Mary Jane, making her up your client, um, got great results because people were so thrilled when they, like Christine was talking, when they, when they clients all got all this stuff. So you could then go and in, like into her account or show like, studies about that or show their her testimonials or the increase in fan page likes or whatever the heck it was. Mm -hmm. um, the reaction to it that people posted it and do these type of demonstrations. And if you did these even once a week, you know, you want to just repurpose it. So you have it on Facebook live, you go live or you upload it, you do a screen share video that you upload. Um, and then you take that and you put it on YouTube. And then from YouTube, then you want to just share. And from you, you, Facebook Live, you're going to share all over Facebook. But then YouTube, you're going to share all over social media, you know, mm -hmm. to your LinkedIn, to your Google Plus. You can make a LinkedIn Pulse article about it. You can do a Medium.com article about it. So you're just repurposing the same video over and over again. So I would say if yeah. you stuck to that strategy of demonstration, and even if it's not video, if it's pictures, if you're showing a screenshot of somebody who's, who said, wow, this was great, it's a happy client. Mm -hmm. Stick to, because um, I don't think conceptually people need to understand what exactly it is. They can, you can tell them and they hear it, but when they see right. it, it's an entirely different story. That's okay. when they yeah. When they see somebody saying, oh, my God, my clients are so thrilled with me. They recommended me. Or look what the client said. Like anywhere you could find proof, case studies, mm -hmm. proof, or demonstration that actually showing the brownies, showing the gifts, that's, I think, going to help you tremendously with getting people <laughs> to reach out and take that step and say, okay, let me, this really is something I should do for my clients. So I think okay. that would be great. And what yeah. are you yeah. working, working on right now? Just the, the videos or what is your priority right now? Yeah, prior, just in connecting with other people, increasing my um, my amount of connections. My friends have joined quite a few groups. So I know, you know, when if you're going to build on Facebook, the goal is, you know, obviously to tap out your Facebook friends or get close to that 5,000 friends. So I'm just trying to build relationships and connect with different people. Um, but like-minded, you know, not necessarily just any not just everybody and anybody is, I guess, where I'm at. Yeah, that's the thing too. I mean, getting the right like-minded people for your personal profile, but then moving over so you can invite them to having a group. And both of you should have Facebook groups. Do either of you have, Christine, do you have a Facebook group? A group? No, I don't. I don't either. As both no. need. And both of you, your groups actually would probably be pretty similar. Um, you know, having uh, your busy entrepreneurs, busy, if you're targeting females, busy female entrepreneur, um, like things that you're going to give uh, tips and tricks and hacks for, uh, you know, uh, doing things, you know, streamlining and, or maybe for Michelle, your group could be more about relationship building, you know, mm -hmm. for clients where Christine's could be more of the, uh, the virtual hacks, you know, you could call virtual assistant hacks group or something, something like that. <laughs> or busy yeah. business owner, uh, take a look at, and you can make little videos and say, Hey guys, Christine, you too, video, video, go in your group and say, listen, guys, listen, do you know, you know, uh, do you know what autoresponder you should be using? Well, this is the one you should be using or any sort of little tiny tricks that you can give and share with your group. 
um, and then get conversations going in there and get people going and stuff too. And I think that's really great for engagement. But isn't that very similar to what you would do on your business page? Well, the difference is people don't real well, they do if you've got a ton and ton of likes, but business pages, people aren't very interactive, as you notice. You could have thousands of people like your page and you'll get some likes, maybe some comments, but a group is interactive. People like groups and they participate in the groups that they like. Now, of course, there's a lot of etiquette with that, with people now, you know, it, and it's a shame the way Facebook has it set up because they actually say, do you want to invite this person? And then instead of actually inviting them, they just add them. Facebook itself. And the people so get, I don't know why people, ladies, please. I hear this all the time. Oh, I unfriended this person. They put me in a group. Oh my God, cry me a river. I mean, give me a break. Who cares? Just delete yourself. <laughs> Right. Get yourself out of the group. I mean, exactly. Stupid. I mean, people actually post these long, insulted things that somebody actually added them to a group. Well, a lot of times it's because Facebook doesn't give you any option to build your group. You just put it says invite, and it's not really inviting them. It's sticking them in the group. It's technically not even the person's fault. But yet people go on rampage. You've probably seen it, right? I'm sick yeah. of people inviting me to groups. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. I mean, listen, we have more things in life to worry about that you got put in too many groups. Just go to your groups and delete. <laughs> Leave, yeah. leave. That's, that's what I do. I never, I've never gotten nasty or written something nasty to somebody for putting me in a group. But I've actually did get any a message once from somebody who said, "Oh, nuns oh, that how dare I put them in the group?" And then what unfriended me. So I'm like, "Good, good riddance. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Thank you." <laughs> yeah, you definitely don't want to worry about things like that. Um, but yeah, groups are definitely. definitely I know we're now we're getting. We're getting, we're getting back here. Mm -hmm. Definitely more interactive and definitely will be um, a great way to build relationships. And that's exactly what we were talking about with Michelle with send out cards and with building relationships with your target market, them getting to know you as a person, you providing just great value, not selling, you're just providing 100% great value in your group of things they really need. So I would get it specific enough that people would say, so think of a major, both of you think of a major problem that your exact client has and base your group around solving that problem. So, you know, if, if you have like, if, you, if your ideal client for Christine is the overwhelmed, frustrated business owner who's got too much to do, um, how do we then, you know, come up with a snazzy name for, you know, snappy name for the group that will get those type of people, you know, frazzled business owners group or whatever. Um, and then you're gonna provide the solutions and same with Michelle, you know, needing to, um, building your business the relationship building uh, group, you know, and here are some great ways to really stand out and make an impact and get new clients faster because you're giving them these, these sorts of uh, great, you know, tips and tricks and stuff too. So I think both of you can definitely benefit from doing, uh, using face, utilizing Facebook groups. And of course, you know, connect, now you can connect new thing, um, groups and pages connect. So they become official. So if you have a group, that you want to get a page, you can connect, make a group around your page and connect it. And call oh, it. I like that. Okay. Yeah, it's official. Like the Women Helping Women Entrepreneur Facebook group says officially linked to. Linked. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, and that's an, uh, a thing that just popped up that they're offering now. Mm -hmm. Also, great feature, ladies. You can promote your groups now. So you could pay target the exact people you want. So if you want female entrepreneurs or people who need speakers, you want speakers, you can actually go, it, um, it says promote group. You click mm -hmm. on that, do the targeting and then pick every um, like speakers, the National Speakers Association, right. blah, 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 likes, interests and women, and all those people will, or men will then see your group and you're just asking them to join a group. You're not asking them to buy anything. You'll get right, right. I've done it several times. I've had tons and tons of people join the group that way. I, I do it randomly. And um, it's a great feature where you can get okay. group members is where it's at. And then you want to try to get your group members to get opt-in, obviously, to your website. Um, mm -hmm. And like Christine, if you do go with something like ClickFunnels or a system like that, Optimize Press, where you can, you know, you're sending them to landing pages, not worrying so much about this big brochure website, but you could still mm -hmm. have those pages, but you want to get funnels. You want to get them into a funnel where you're, you know, you're offering them something um, that uh, you, that you can do different types of funnels and, and that they're getting their email address and you're putting that autoresponder series behind it and everything streamlined and working together. And Michelle, you can do the same exact thing too when you're ready for a website. I think, um, it, I think really for any I business. I have a very basic one. Yeah. 
ClickFunnels for you too, is I highly recommend it because it's just inexpensive. You're not paying thousands of dollars to a web designer. Um, and you know, with a little help, it can definitely be uh, very easy for you guys to make your own pages up and, and membership site and webinars, and you can you can go full out with it. Um, and then you can put your clients on it too and be an affiliate and stuff too. So it's a, it's a really, really good thing. You know, probably all you hear all the time, everybody's using ClickFunnels now. Um, Tony Robbins is one that one because it's uh, it's just the, the the software of right now. <laughs> yeah. you know, next year, who knows? I may be sending you something else. I like to keep right. on top right. of whatever. You know, if I see something's better, I move toward it. You know, I always keep my options open. <laughs> so wonderful. Okay, so we're almost at the hour. So what I'm going to do, let me mute myself here. Um, let's have a closing statement from both of you. We'll start with Christine because you're up on the screen. Okay, closing statements. What? Do you want me to include? Um, well, tell us just a summary of what exactly again you do and how we can reach you and hire you and find out more and how we can get our free consultation with you. Okay. Um, well, uh, I, as I stated, uh, I am a virtual assistant. Uh, my um, specialty is working with coaches and speakers, uh, coaches, business coaches who want to speak to reach a broader um, audience. Uh, so I will um, help with uh, finding speaking gigs and help with administrative tasks that are, are unique with um, the coaches and speakers. And um, But I also do help uh, entrepreneurs with their administrative tasks, anything that I could do uh, virtually. Um, and if I can't do it personally, um, I do have other people that I work with that you know will assist me. So uh, you can find out more about me by going to virtualassistantservices.net and there you'll find um, a place to uh, schedule a, just a 15 minute um, get to know you um, consult uh, and then there's a free offer there as well. So thank you. Oh, sorry, Christina, you got yourself muted, so we can't really hear you, but that's okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm unmuted. Okay, I'm sorry. Thank you, Christina, Michelle. Okay, Michelle. Okay. Okay. No, we heard you, Christine Myers. I was saying okay. Christina was muted. Oh, um, okay, so, good. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. We're good. Technology at its best here. Um, so anyways, yes, I'm Michelle Denio with Heartfelt Appreciation and Send Out Cards. And it's, again, just designed to really stay top of mind. It's a fully automated um, relationship marketing tool that just keeps you top of mind and really allows you to go that extra mile without really having to, you know, remember to go that extra mile per se. It's a fully, it just helps you stay in better touch with your customers and build those stronger relationships with them. And if you don't have the time to manage that and you know that it's something that you need to do, but it's not something that is ever going to make it to the top of your list, I can absolutely help you manage that account as well. And really just get those cards out, get those brownies out. Brownies, I'm telling you, the way to anybody's heart is usually through chocolate. And um, for the very minimal amount of money, you can send brownies to your customers, and it really does make a huge impact. I mean, 90% of them, I can guarantee you, are going to post it on Facebook. Um, if you take a personal personalized, they're completely personalized with your own branding. You can put your own pictures. You can put your clients' pictures on there. I just sent a card out for a real estate agent this morning, and we put a picture of the brand new house that these people closed on on the inside, completely spanned across the inside. So, really, really personalized service um, that's inexpensive, fully automated, and completely customized to you. And if you want to try it, it's on an app on your phone. There's an app for that now. So if you want to try it and you want to send out a card or two from the app, um, you can reach out to me. My website is www.heartfeltappreciation.com. You can find me on Facebook. You can go right to that website. There's a, a contact page there as well. And I can set up a time with you just for 10 minutes where we can send a card out. And um, a card and brownies to somebody, maybe a customer, maybe a client, maybe your spouse, anybody, whoever you can think of at the time. So wonderful, I'm happy to wonderful. do that. Fantastic. And I, what I would like you guys both to do would be to, um, when you make your groups, 
Um, I want both of you to post it to Women Helping Women Entrepreneurs. You have my permission to do that and invite the members for these specific groups, relationship building, whatever you're going to call it, and also busy, overwhelmed, frazzled entrepreneurs who need uh, virtual assistance, um, you know, outsourcing or all that stuff. Those would be great groups for, for you to both post. And this way we can get members, you know, who need those services um, and help. In, and you can join your groups as well. And uh, I think what I'm going to do, I'm also going to do like a survey for the group. I know we've had a ton of interest in these, yet we get people to sign up and then they don't come on. I don't know why. Um, or I've gotten a ton of messages saying, oh, that time didn't work for me. I had another luncheon. I had this, but I really wanted to do it and this and that. So I'm going to put like a poll out in the group about the times, like what is the best day and time? Is it night? Is it lunch? Or is it morning? I don't know if, that we can get as many people on this as possible before I schedule the next one. Um, Cause I know this has happened consistently. I mean, if you guys are out there and you signed up, you know, I do have to give every opportunity to join the next one if you've missed it. Um, because we have people who do sign up and then for whatever reason, I guess life gets in the way and they don't not able to get on. Um, but I definitely want to, um, you know, get everybody back on. If you missed it, well, the next one, definitely join us. And um, what I'll do is uh, I'll put out that poll. So we'll see what, maybe there's a common denominator, you know, of our over 3,000, almost 4,000 people can tell us um, what good days and times everybody prefers before I schedule it. And we can do this again. And this is going to go, obviously, now I do the same formula that I preach. I take this. Now it's been broadcast on all these different pages. I'm going to download it. I'm going to put it, it's going to go to LinkedIn, Google+, YouTube, all over the place. It goes on my blog. Um, so we get the maximum amount of exposure for for this. And um, I will send you guys YouTube to if you get, put, put your comments underneath, friend each other. This way you have your contact information as well. Um, and we will definitely, and I'll invite you both back since you both came on. Um, both of you, again, come to the next one um, as my guest. And um, we'll have uh, have you on the next one when I announce that. And then we'll, uh, we'll we'll get everything. And and uh, and Michelle, you're going to send me an email with your app. And Christine, if you yep. need any information about ClickFunnels and help, definitely email me. And we'll set up a time to talk. So it was okay. wonderful. This was so much fun. I love doing this. I just I it's do so too. Fun. I think it's great. <laughs> I do. Yeah, but we don't have to leave our houses. It's just exactly. Good. We'll get everybody get the swing of it. Getting uh, high tech, and a lot of people are just still confused, but we're going to get you all up to speed, ladies. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Absolutely. Okay. I will see you guys soon. Thank you so okay. much. Thank Take you. Care. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Bye.